Okay, everybody, let's take a look at how you can make a USB recovery stick for Chrome OS and also use it making the exact version we want it to be. So we need a USB stick. And then in our class, under classwork, under resources, you should be able to see one called Chrome OS recovery and Chromium dash. So let's look at Chromebook recovery utility. This is in the Chromebook web store, the Chrome web store. I've already installed it, but this is what it's called. So you install it and it will show up up here on your toolbar. You might need to use this tool to pin it, okay, which I have here. And then there's also one called Chromium Dash, and this is a place where you can go and find the version of the Chrome OS that we actually want to use. So the question is, how do I know what I want to use? So when you go into recovery, uh, the white screen that comes up at the bottom, you'll see that it has the model. So here's a, here's a picture of what that looks like. This is model Phaser 360. This is the Tech for Ed Chromebooks for 2021-22, um, which are also 81 MB. Um, so Phaser 360 is what the, mo the motherboard's model name is. So if we go back to uh, chromium-appspot.com and look, and we do a search for Phaser 360, you can see it right here. There's a Phaser and there's a Phaser 360. The difference between those is which Intel chip to use. Um, and if we scroll up, we will see that it's under the broad category of Octopus. So the Octopus build for Chrome OS covers all of these motherboards. So um, even though it's a Phaser 360, we could just call it Octopus, okay? So here are the different versions that are out right now that we can download and use. And the one that the district's using right now is 98. Okay, and you can see on these columns that stable uh, is at version 100, beta is at 102, developer channel is 103, and so on. And LTS stands for long-term support. Um, anyway, so we're on 98. So I want to make a Chrome OS recovery stick that's not 100 because that's not what we're on. I want it to be 98. So I need to go over here and click on this and download it. Okay, so it's downloading right now. When it's done downloading, you're going to launch. I already downloaded it, so I'm going to hit cancel on this. You need to launch the Chrome OS recovery utility. So I'm going to launch this. Okay, it says I need a recovery stick. Great, I have one. Now, normally, we just click on this, right? But that's going to download the most recent one. And that's not what I want to do. Instead, I want to use the one that I downloaded already, which is version 98. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on the settings up here. I'm going to click on use local image and I'm going to find that one I downloaded. It's this one right here. I'm going to open it and then I'm going to select the USB drive I want, hit continue and create it. So you can see up here that it's um, using Chrome OS 14388.61.0 Octopus Recovery Stable Channel, blah, blah, blah. That's what we're using. So that's how you make a recovery stick. And um, if you're not sure how to find out if it's a phaser 360, et cetera, remember that the way to do that is to hit escape, refresh, power, let go of the power. Um, and when it comes back up, it's gonna have that white screen and I'll tell you at the bottom of the model. Okay, that's it.